So I got my Sigma 150 to 600 contemporary today. I haven't seen too many videos on this, so I thought I'd just shoot a quick video to give an overview if somebody hasn't seen the other videos. <clears throat> so as you can see, it's it's a fairly large lens. I'd say it's equivalent in size to the Sigma 50 to 500. I had one of those back in the day. I believe this one's about an inch and a half longer. Diameter, I think, is around the same size. It has the, the buttons over here for autofocus, manual focus, and the MO. This gives you the ability to, to manually focus while you're autofocusing. I don't really know the difference between that and just having focus override, um, like your full-time autofocus. You have your limiter switches, full 10 meters to infinity, or 2.8 to 10 meters. Help speed up your... Um, <clears throat> focusing if you know you're shooting at certain distances. Your OS is uh, 1 and 2. 1 is for just standard. 2 is your uh, panning. Then your customization. This is what you use the dock for. So you can set um, your micro adjustments in it or if you want to do a dynamic uh, OS or adjust the focus speed of it. <clears throat> I turned on the dynamic OS which also made the stabilization much smoother through the viewfinder. Uh, beforehand it had a slight jittery look to it, but with the dynamic on, it's rock solid. It almost looks like it's just sitting on a tripod. As you can see, extended, it's, it's a good bit of a, a extension here. It's about three and a half, four inches of length that adds to it when you're full out to 600 millimeters. There's a lock on the side to lock it, or if you want to shoot at certain distances, you can do the soft lock, which will lock it at that position. But if you give it a good bit of a turn, it'll unlock it so you can keep going. So it doesn't fully lock it, but it keeps it in place if you're shooting upwards or downwards, which I think is a nice feature. <clears throat> focus on it seems relatively quick. Um, the room's kind of dim, so the focus isn't going to be super fast looking. So it's kind of hard to judge that without being outside and having a decent amount of light to try to focus. Uh, image quality is, seems to be very nice. I, the OS system also is very, very, very good. I was playing around and I shot at 1 25th of a second at 600 millimeters and I'd say the image was perfectly usable. So that's pretty impressive. The shoot that slow of a shutter speed at 600 millimeters. But you can see the size differences between the two lenses. Of just the small 7200 f4 versus the 150 to 600 um, with the lens hood it's even larger the finish on this lens is really nice it's a very attractive looking lens it's much nicer looking than the lenses that Sigma made back in the day. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, I'd say so far I'm pretty pleased with it. I haven't got to really use it too much yet. Hopefully I'll get to use it this weekend at a show taking pictures of my sister-in-law doing horse competitions. <clears throat> so that's just a quick rundown of the lens that I got today. So, thanks.